Yo, what's up, man? Your boy Positive Flow, man. Shoot, kind of cold this morning, but uh, it's, it finally stopped freezing, as you guys can see. The beast is empty. I'm getting ready to put my stuff back in there, and I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is for me to put my stuff back in. Nothing uh, uh, hard about putting my stuff back in. You know what I mean? I mean, it probably take me probably 25, 30, man, 25 minutes to put everything back in that I want. Uh, so, uh, just to give you guys a little experiment, not much talking on this one, uh, just to show you guys how I put my stuff back in. You know, I'm going to start with my 50 gallon tank. I mount it in first. And then while I'm mounting it in, <clears throat> when I get it mounted in, I just turn the faucet off on the tank and start filling up with water. So, while I'm putting the rest of the stuff back in, my tank will be filling up, okay? Let's get it in. Go ahead and turn my faucet off. As you can see, I just put my tank where it needs to be. I'm getting ready to get my straps, strap it in. What I normally do is go with the cross strap. I go here, and I take another one, and I go there. Try to get these straps as straight as you can. You don't want them to be kind of um, crossed out, you know, because actually I want, <clears throat> I want this in the back. Strap it down enough to where it won't slide on me that much until I get this one in. I'm gonna go from here to there.
right? Now we can start tightening it down. install. Now, it didn't take me much to install it. You see? So, while I'm installing my pressure washer, because my line is here, it's going to hook up to my pressure washer. You guys can see, I don't have any pump and none of that. I, don't, I mean, I don't use that. I just use gravity. And some people say it don't work for them to each his own. Get you a pump. I'm not saying, hey, pump's not useful. That's not what I said. I said, I don't use a pump. All right? So what we're going to start doing now, since I already turned the valve off, is start filling up with water. I don't, I don't use no ionized water or nothing like that. Straight water, hard, I mean, uh, water out of the uh, faucet. We don't have extremely hard water in my subdivision, so I do pretty good. I bet I drop my phone, my wife be mad. <laughs> Alright, you can see the water tank is filling up. Yeah, boy. Alright, the next thing I'm gonna put in, since I know it's gonna be in the center, I'm gonna put in my compressor. Now when I put that compressor in, I want to find my exhaust so it'll be blowing this way. You don't want that exhaust blowing against your tank. All right? So that's installed for right now. I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect all of them like as one. Alright, let's get my pressure washer. Okay, I hand tighten the holes to the pressure washer, but I'm gonna get my pliers, crank it down just a hair. Not much because I already got plumbers tape on it. I also got my zip ties. I'm going to show y'all how I connect all this together as one. And, and it won't go anywhere. Let's tighten down this water hose. All right, she's tightened down.
See, I'm kind of like an in-order guy. I know while my water running, I can be putting the rest of this stuff in. There. By the time I get to putting the rest of this stuff in, my water should be ready. All right? Now, I'm going to put my um, pressure washer line on. You know, it goes to the back here. Quick, dis quick disconnect. There you go, quick disconnect. Now what I normally do, I spray this with WD-40 because the water will rush this, so you want to spray around your edges so it'll be easy to snap in. So let's get the WD-40. There you go. You gotta keep it smooth, baby. Uh-huh. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and run my water line on back there. My gun is on the other side over there, in, in, inside the pocket, and I hook those two together. I don't want the gun on right now because I still gotta put my, uh, my generator in, okay? Okay, that's ready. Now what I'll do with my pressure washer, I slide it back and I got some small straps that I strap it on to my jack right here, okay? You got another line of the jack, one of the iron bar right here. So what I do, I slide it back. It's ready, let me get my straps. All right, here's a little strap I got for it. About time for some new ones. I done had these for a long time. And what I do, I go through the tires to keep it from rolling. I slide this through the tires and mount it back on this iron bracket. Notice how it's sliding back into place. That's not going nowhere. She's ready. One strap. That's all it takes. 
put it between the tires. What you want to do is stop it from rolling. You see? I mean, it can go back. I would want, but if you ain't, if, uh, unless you're driving like a maniac, it ain't going nowhere. All right, let's just, let's get the, uh, the generator. That heavy mother, watch out that boy. Slide y'all back a little bit. I gotta get this generator here. Let me stretch first. Cause that sound good heavy. <laughs> There it is. Now, what I'm gonna do to that is the uh, same as same exact thing I did that pressure wash. I'm gonna run a strap through the wheels so it won't roll. I get these little straps right here, man. They're very strong, very durable. You can get these at Harbor Freight. They're small straps. The only big straps I use is for the water tank. So, we got some pad eyes on one side. We'll run this through the wheel. Same thing we did to that one, okay? See, these particular, particular straps don't have a crank on it. You just pull, and the, the, uh, the tighter you pull, the tighter that strap gets. Oh, she's tighter, buddy, she's tighter. What I do, I wrap the excess around the wheel. There it is. That's it. You know? I have a, um, a, I have a rubber edge that come off of it. What I do with my long zip ties, I connect the generator to the compressor, the compressor to the pressure washer.
when I get through connecting them, I get my scissors and cut the ends off of them. So you won't be able to see the long stem. Like I said, I'm no genius. I just like creating shit. You know what I mean? So basically, that compressor, it's not strapped in. It's just connected to those two. So they move as one. So nothing is going nowhere. Physics of science. If it ain't tilting, it ain't gonna roll backwards. Physics of science, baby. All right, man, that's basically how everything go back in the beast. I just gotta connect my, uh, my uh, line to my compressor and put my bag back in and put my bag, you know, put the regular stuff back in. That's it, man. That's how easy it is to take my stuff in and out. It gets too cold, no problem. I'll put it back in the garage. It's been like 20 something degrees the last couple days, but finally beginning to clear up. It's time for me to get back to doing my thing. One love, man. Appreciate you guys.